Hello everyone and welcome back to Channel Dad Brian Lape reads an article. And uh, people have been complaining about some of my uh, my fitness and health stuff cuz some of the the you know they've been from Get Pocket, some have been from Muscle and Fitness, been all over. Some from the CDC website and some of articles about things. So this is WebMD and you know take this with a grain of salt like everything else, okay? Cuz everything's a little bit different for everybody. Now, I'm not 100% sure where they show someone doing, I guess, stretching or yoga or something here. But, hey, that's their, I, uh, you know, it's their choice. Because this is uh, tips to find and avoid your migraine triggers. Now, as we get into summer, um, depending on, you know, people have different triggers and different things. Um, mine tend to be crazy weather. And we tend to get a little bit of that where I live around this time of year um, where you know the, the barometric pressure will drop quite a bit. And that's one of my triggers, and uh, knowing that is is helpful. So, here's just a quick article from WebMD. Of course, we'll put the link in the description. And uh, new subscribers, I want to thank you very much for stopping by. And please click that like button uh, if you like content like this and want to see more of it. So that I know, and I know what and people judge. And please share it all over the place. Uh, lots of times, people ask me, "How do I? When do you decide what to do with videos?" And the more views and the more likes things get, I tend to make Make more videos like that or about that type of topic depends if it's a topical thing or if it's a style or a both okay so let me know and thank you very much so with migraine one of them about this just resize on no it's just an odd scroll one of the best things you can do is learn your personal triggers that bring on the pain and one thing that can help with that is keeping a journal and understanding what were you doing before you got a headache and did the headache come on slowly or suddenly uh red wine caffeine caffeine withdrawal sometimes my, my brother it's just caffeine itself uh stress and skip meals are among the common culprits the first step to track your migraine is uh, there we go symptoms in a diary note that you were doing before and when your headache came on in, in my case i just noticed every time we had a really freaking and it doesn't I had a few to happen in the winter time too, which was freaking out with snow. But again, I look at the barometric pressure and it drops quite quickly. Basically, it's the drop over time. So if it's the same amount over a couple of days, I had another problem. But when it's 12 hours or less, it's when I have problems. Um, how much sleep did you get the night before? Uh, did you get in a fight with somebody? Did anything stressful or important happen that day? There are clues. Learn your triggers. When you look at your diary, you might find that these things tend to lead to a migraine, stress, menstrual periods, changes in your normal sleep pattern, extreme uh, fatigue, certain drinks or foods, bright lights, flashing lights, too much caffeine or withdrawal from it, skipping meals or fasting, changes. There we go. Changes in the weather right there. Da, da, da. So I'm not making it all up. Exercise, smoking, bright flickering lights, certain smells. Ooh, ooh. That would be because especially if there's smells you can't control. Um, Seven way, uh, steps to avoid your triggers. Watch what you drink and eat. If you get a headache, write down the foods and drinks you had started before it started. If you see a pattern over time, stay away from that item. Drink it. Don't skip meals. Eat regularly. Uh, curb the caffeine. Too much in any uh, food or drink can cause migraines, but cutting back suddenly may cause also cause them. So try to slowly ease off the caffeine if that seems to be one of your headache triggers. Yeah, I used to work with some uh, ladies years ago. They were both secretaries. Um which, you know, it sounds degrading, but I mean, it, executive assistant is actually probably really close to accurate to what these, these two ladies did. They basically, they work for the same person, but they did, they did so much of the, of the job. It, it was ridiculous. But, um, one of them, uh, I know it's relevant. If you let me get to it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stop inter inter interrupting. Uh, one of them, the trigger was caffeine and the other one could, could eat something with caffeine in it, uh, to get rid of a headache have a migraine coming on because this is why excedrin migraine is excedrin plus caffeine because it for some people that helps not everybody um be careful with exercise everyone needs regular physical activity it's a key part of being healthy but it can trigger headaches for some people if you're one of them you can still work out ask your doctor what to do i wonder if that is a raise in blood pressure because quite often when you work out uh, depending what you're doing you can you can get a raise i'm sorry everyone i just ma smacked the microphone away from my face get regular shut eye and sleeping habits are important even for when you do work out and these two i'd say were tied together because regular you really to get better sleep you need to have regular sleep downsides your stress there are many ways to do it you could exercise meditate pray spend time sometimes just stop being a bitch just let go of stuff just go you can't change it stop stressing over it right if there's something you can do to make it better then do that and if not just go on 
keep up your energy, eat a regular on a regular schedule. Yeah. What to look for in foods? Foods that have uh, tyramine in them, such as aged cheese, like blue cheese or parmesan. Ooh, I wonder if that's what cheese sometimes bothers me. Not always. Usually when it's cooked. Alcohol, especially red wine. Yeah, I can't. I can't do this. This. Um, it's not nitrates, the sulfides in in uh, alcohol anyway, in in wine, caffeine, uh, which is in coffee, chocolate, tea, colas, and other sodas. Um, foods made from with nitrates, such as pepperoni. Yep, can't do much of that. Uh, bread and my son gets headaches from nitrates. Bread and other baked goods. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, fried fruits, dried fruits, not fried fruits. Man, it really helps if I could read potato chips. I wonder what's in potato chips. Pizza. Pizza makes me ill too. I don't know why. One piece, that's about all I can tolerate on occasion too. I don't get headaches. I just feel nauseous. Chicken livers. That's interesting. So there you go. My goodness, it's twist. Um, so there you go. Uh, that is from WebMD. This is, looks like it's just, um, just a general article. There are sources listed. So you are uh, reviewed by, okay. So, uh, Arifa Kasumbi Ho. Kasu Bahao, I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure I got that a zillion t- uh, times wrong. And if you know how to say her name per- correctly, please don't hesitate to let me know because I'm I'm sensitive to this because I get called my name gets you know I get called Byron and a bunch of other things um, over time. But um, my last name people can't pronounce my last name either. So uh, there we go. We think uh, anyway. There are some nice, these are, these are pretty good tips. And I would say definitely. And, uh, if you do suffer from migraines, you know, start keeping a log for a while. If you visit a headache doctor, uh, you know, or someone, a neurologist, something like that, they're going to want to see your journal. So if you have one already, uh, that gets you further down the road when you finally see a specialist and say, Hey, I've got three months of data or I've got six months of data of, you know, this type, especially if it's weather stuff, like for mine, I mean, I can go for with years without anything. And then all of a sudden the pressure drops like a rock. And I just go, I mean, it's horrible. Uh, what's interesting is if I can get in a steam, I don't have anywhere I can get a steam room anymore. But in, when I used to work out in gyms that had steam rooms, I actually started to get one, went in the steam room, and 10 minutes later, the pain was still there, but I had my vision, I, and it was no longer nauseous, but I just had a dull headache after that. So anyway, uh, so do you suffer from migraines? Do, or do you think this is helpful if uh, you keep a diary? Have you been able to figure out your triggers and what to do about them? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for sharing, and thanks for clicking that like button. I really appreciate it. And all new sub, uh, even the old subs, all 1600 of you, I really appreciate uh, helping this channel grow and helping me get some more resources so that I can make better videos over time and more uh, punctual, I would hope, too. Thank you, and good day. All right. Yep. It does have noise. Yeah, I know I didn't close the other one. All right. All right, three, two, one.